The title of today's Daily Dose, Look at What the Lord Has Done. You know, in Psalm 86, we read, we read a prayer. Really, it's, it's a cry out to God. And it says, You, O Lord, are forgiving in your good, abounding in love to all who call on you. So hear my prayer, Lord. Listen to my cry for mercy. When I'm in distress, I call to you because you answer me. Again, Psalm 86, verses 5, 6, 7. Look, I love how raw and real this prayer is, this cry to God is. I love how true it is also. In fact, you know, many believers have been praying for God's mercy in our land, over our land, for a long time. That He would be merciful toward us, spare His wrath, and deliver us from our national sins, in particular the sin of abortion. Check this out. In Arizona, we've seen another answer to this prayer. As we, by God's grace, we see ourselves getting closer and closer to a time when abortion of any kind or at any time will no longer be the law of this land. But the the sanctity of human life would return in full force. You see what happened this week, Senate Bill 1164 was signed into Arizona law, positioning Arizona to protect unborn babies at the earliest stages of development since Roe v. Wade. See, the victory for the unborn also protects women, though. It's going to spare so many women of of the emotional and physical harm of abortion, including the increased risks of, of complications that occur in later term abortions. So this law, SB 1164, it's it's another step. It's another step in the right direction. And to that I say, look at what the Lord has done. Thank you, God. You know, some are crediting conservative Republican lawmakers with this. And I'll tell you, they do deserve applause. They fought the good and the hard fight, using their political muscle to rescue the unborn, pushing back on the evil progressive agenda. Arizona State Senator um, Nancy Barto and, and State Representative Warren Peterson, thank you both for your persistence. Governor Ducey, thank you for signing these bills. But all the glory goes to the Lord. He is the one who's shown us mercy. Again, we deserve to be written off and punished intensely for this horrific sin of abortion, but God has shown us mercy. He's heard our cries, the cries of His people, the praying church, and He's shown us mercy. Look at what the Lord has done. This is what I just want to keep proclaiming. Look at what the Lord has done. He's relented. He has, he's pushed back the darkness. He's released life in our culture and pushed back death. Look at what the Lord has done. God hears our prayers, decades of prayers for life. Look at what the Lord has done even this week. You know, but in all the excitement, we got to remember something. This is also a time for the church to continue to step up with compassion and with resources for those who are finding themselves in crisis pregnancies. You see, for decades now, Christians have been coming alongside women in helping them in this time of need. Free prenatal care, free ultrasounds, free legal help, free resources, support, prayer, encouragement, and of course, bringing the love of Jesus. And as we see abortion die out in our land, we see the opportunity to share this love of Jesus and the gospel of Jesus with more and more Women, what a great opportunity for the church and for our community. And and I have to mention that this also underscores the importance of electing pro-life, God-fearing people to positions in government. See, again, your vote is powerful. Use it with the fear of the Lord because who we vote for empowers them to do what they say they're going to do. I'm just saying, please don't take that responsibility lightly. Our vote empowers whatever those elected ultimately do. So let's elect those who are going to stand for life, going to stand for marriage, going to stand for righteousness in our land. 
But again, right now, here's what I want to do. Let's take this moment to celebrate. This is not a political victory, but a victory for all humanity. It's a victory for life, a victory for the unborn. It's a victory for righteousness advancing in our land. Look at what the Lord has done. May God be glorified. May His kingdom come on earth in this time. May His will be done right here, right now, in this place, as it is in heaven. His mercies endure forever. His mercies are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. Look at what the Lord has done.